Hey guys, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn how we can sign up with the Google India Creative. So first of all, I want to show you what we will be, what we will got at the last after doing the whole step. So uh, there is my button uh, of Google, and I'm going to click on it. And in the console, you can see that I got the information, all information like I just spoken email ID, family name, given name, photos, and everything, whatever we need for a sign up. So how we, we can do that so let's get started with the step by step so first of all i am going to delete my old code so so that we can start from very scratch and after that we will able to sign up uh, guys you must have to watch the edge step uh, very carefully because if you miss some kind of some steps then uh, you you may be uh, find some difficulties to sign up with the uh, Facebook so let's watch carefully so first of all I want to go on the Google and just you can search here Google react native Google sign in so at the first result which is the dev fd uh, this is a very great module for sign up and this is the easiest way even so just i think my internet is pretty slow today all right guys so first of all we have to install this component here so let's copy stop your npm just paste here and install it after that we have to go on react native link to then the all patches which is uh, required to change the profiles so after that you will see uh, two project setups one for android and another for ios so first of all we will go for android guide because uh, now i have the android machine so yes now just run the react native link okay everything is updated so at the second step uh, at the first step this is going uh, that what we actually required the for android sdk requirements so these all requirements are already done whenever you start with the react uh, android emulator so uh, he's telling that first of all go to the developer.google.com so but uh, i will i would like to go at the last on this step so first of all i want to go on installation which is already done now we have to check every file uh, manually because sometimes react native link will not work properly due to the file permissions so uh, let's go on the android.setting.gradle so just click on android and go setting.gradle here you can see that uh, google sign is already placed so we do not need to do anything okay it's checked now we have to go on android.build.gradle so just go on the build.gradle file so here we have to two dependencies which work uh, first is the android uh, gradle version which is 2.1.2 and another is the google service so basically we don't need to do the services because this is already running uh, so i am not going to put it so at uh, the first dependency this is already added fine so after that under <coughs> uh, android dot app dot gradle uh, build dot gradle so just find your app and go to the build dot gradle so here we have to just put some around four dependencies uh, here you can see that uh, first is the file tree and under export and xyz so this is already done and this is not done you can copy this and paste this and you don't need to apply the plugin here because this is already done in the latest version if you have 
uh, the old oldest version then you can uh, apply this plugin all right and the last we have to change in the main application to java so for that go to the source and java and click on main application here we have to uh, import the r and google sign in package and import okay, import after import we have to put the object in our override folder so everything is fine uh, okay so one more file actually i forget this you have to go android gradle wrapper find your gradle and go to the wrapper and this is the wrapper of properties so at the last you can see this uh, designation url so distribution url sorry that's my bad here you have to put uh, the gradle 2.14 old j uh, this is already done and if there is some mistake then you can override it if this is the previous version so all right so now uh, we are not going to all these changes because uh, when, I, when we are doing the all the above changes uh, perfectly then this kind of changes we don't need so now uh, I want to come back to the point number two which is the Google project configuration so here you can see that uh, start the integration Google sign in to your Android app so we have uh, Jack Native app and this is very similar to the Android app so we don't need to worry about that so you can read and you can take a review of this documentation if you want and if you don't want this directly click on the configure project after that just choose your project so let I want to choose uh, mm -mm, notification then click to the next okay then uh, we configure your both client for android all right so he is asking for our package name this is my com.social and com.social uh, how we can find your package name so we can go in our uh, what we call it let's i forgot the file name actually don't worry i know the path so go to the uh, app source then uh, yes it's android web manifest so from package name you can see that's com.social all right guys so now we have to find the sh1 so this is the instruction uh, this is the key tool export set and this is the key store path and if still you are confusing with that then go to the google and you can write uh, uh, what exactly it is just copy it from here that's that's enough i think so here you will get a stack of folding yeah, second one actually and here copy this key uh, command and just paste on your folder so here you will find some footprints like md5 sh1 and uh, sh256 we need we need your sh1 so you can copy it from here and you can paste here so I am going to create, click on create, but uh, in my project I have already generated my auth client so it will tell me that this there is something wrong. So don't worry in whenever you are going to create it on a first time then it will not show to you. So okay, so let's see. Oh it's hang on yes you can see that something wrong please try again because i already generate my uh, credentials so that so if you want to see my credentials then you can see hold for a second mm -hmm. uh, what 
is the name of actually this file <laughs> yeah this is the credentials.json so here you can see that many things which is okay just in last screen you can see that web client which is uh, we have to require this uh, from uh, this file and everything is fine so whenever you are going to click on it you will find uh, you will download this file and after that uh, you will find like something this credential.json and you can copy from here and where you have to put I am going to tell you then go on your project on the root folder this is like my mm, project name is social and click on the json then you can click on the app and here you can put your credentials.json file all right guys so you can open it from here if you want to see something so you can see that web client id and project id and auth url and this is this file is confidential uh, and if you are going to make your project uh, and you want to uh, create a live project then please don't share this id with anyone so okay fine so after that just okay so you we have to make a build again so you have to do okay just run a command react native run android and if you don't know uh, this command will uh, attach your react native to all new changes which is done on core android files so i think it will take one or two minutes so i'm going to close the all the others and extra files which is not required for now okay so now just go on the google and we can close all links from here so now just come to the home page and now uh, import the google sign in in your file in your file where you want to put the google sign in okay and after that you have to check the configuration uh, is has play service is running or not so just okay we can check it in the component did mount function okay so all right guys and after that and we have to put the configurations so just copy the configuration from here and put here and here we don't need to the iOS client ID so I'm going to comment it and now we have to go once again on your credential file so and from here we have to copy our client ID which you can see from here okay. This is very typical to copy actually. Okay. Alright guys. So now just remove your tag and put your key as a string. And you can comment your offline access, your host domain and force consent and prompt and action uh, account name also all right guys so hope your project is also ready for now it's okay everything is good now so now just copy the sign in function and make your function whatever you want to put the name like I want to put handle paste your code here that's right and now 
at the very last just copy your google sign in button which is already imported from react native google sign in and just paste here okay so uh, yeah we actually forget to change the name i put the name handle and replace it with your sign in okay let's let's refresh it all right guys so we achieved everything and let's check it out it, it is working fine or not so i'm opening the console mm -hmm. inspect element now just click on the google sign in button here we can got this thing so you can see that uh, email address token and all everything so uh, we got everything here so but actually uh, what we need so this is a very simple demo and hope uh, you can easily achieve this and still if you have any kind of problem then you can put me in the comment and please give a thumbs up on like button and don't forget to subscribe our channel actually I need it uh, because uh, YouTube is going to block my account and yeah guys if you you can find my Facebook link in your video description so thanks guys thanks for watching this video